first of all, you came in with the best humor. Every time we asked for something, you laughed, but not laughed in our faces. <laughs> and said, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, I, and, and even, it was just... <laughs> We thought we were we were trying to be more reasonable, <laughs> and you guys were amazing and lovely and sweet, and we care about you and thank you for caring about us. I'm trying to make time. Oh, look, Chelsea! Hey, Chelsea! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Chelsea did programming a few years ago and is now <laughs> trying to find a seat. <laughs> Let's give Chelsea a seat. Come on. Right. Okay. Oh, and, and we should thank Silly, who did office work at the last minute and helped to make things happen that I thought wouldn't be possible and just doing documentation. Yep. And then... And Tiger. Uh, I, I, I think Tiger. I think Tiger should be there. Yeah, okay. Maybe, I also want to yeah. thank the, the, um, the board of directors that uh, where, where I'm the president, and um, I'm really excited about the work we've been doing. It's a really active board, um, and we are looking for new members. So if you're comfortable with asking for donations and you have a passion for this organization, please talk to me or any of the other board members, which include Stephen, Jim, Damien, Dell, and Krista. Yes, so come to us if you are interested in joining the board. Um, we would love to have you. Or, and, or for anything. Not yeah, just the board, just like, like if you want to watch 500 films and videos in June, July, and August, instead of having a fun summer. Um, that is a fun it, summer. Uh, it's yeah. different. <laughs> It'd be really great, because it's great to have more voices. Um, but is that all for like that kind of task? So. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to say that like we, we had a challenging year, financially and in lots of other ways. There's been a lot of deep reflection in the organization. We almost didn't have this festival this year. Um, it was a close call and we really cut back on a lot of things and we really did a lot of soul searching. Um, a lot of people got out of their comfort zones and I just want to say how grateful and proud I am to everyone who, who has been along for this long journey, all of us together. Something else I want to say, but, oh right, so that has to do with like the space and what we're trying to do and why you guys are here. And, it's, you know, it's really interesting and hard and weird and I have, like, I'm sure it feels different and yet you like it. But what is really important is that um, when we're here for this momentary pop-up week, that we try to take as best care of each other as we can and do the right things by each other. It's not always easy, especially when you're having your own good time and can't always pay attention to what everyone else's experience is, but, you know, like, there's a lot going on sometimes, and it's just important to pay attention and take care of us, take care of each other, you know? It's because no one else is going to do it. So that's, and then. So let's remember Barbara Hammer. For example, yes. Yeah, so there's a card for Barbara at um, Hospitality. If you want to sign So if you want to send a message to Barbara who's having some health concerns, um, it would be really great. Uh, she was really psyched about the pictures from the Nitrate Kisses screening, so that would be awesome if you want to send her some love, that would be great. So, I also wanted to read a message from, I'm sort of, this is sort of jumping the gun, but it makes sense because I'm going to leave the stage <laughs> uh, for, the, when, for our guest curators to come up and talk. But uh, Stefan Girard, who has shown at Mix since 2012 and has been here every time, and of course flew in just to be here for the festival, uh, from Paris. And uh, we've been working on collaborating programs for next year. And Stefan's just been overcome by what's been going on there and unable to. He came to the festival and he's like, I have to go. And he sent me a message today to read to you. So I finally went to the doctor. I have a very bad infection and shouldn't be around people, so I won't be at the screening tonight, which kills me. Tell everyone I'm sorry. Invite them to contact me by email. And, and, and I'm not gonna, you can, I'll give you the email somewhere at hospitality. With questions, email me with questions, and please say, oh, uh, that I think, you, I'm, I'm sorry, my French sucks. Uh, thank, I, I, 
tell everyone I think uh, Guy who can I'm sorry, you know who I'm talking about, the French famous French philosopher? Guy Debord? Guy Debord? No, 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 no. Hookingham. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah, but I think don't listen to my is very is, is a very important writer for me, and I was happy to be given a chance to quote him in his chapter of Hinky Code. Also, I'm very happy to show it mixed three years in a row. You are my favorite place to find great people in movies where I feel safe and welcomed and love everyone involved. I love how much they fought for mix to happen this year, and I wish I could publicly thank you. Celeste, KB, and Lisa, for showing history it doesn't have to repeat itself, and for contributing to my being part of Hanky Code. And more important, invite everyone to keep cruising, having sex and fun with old friends and strangers, to celebrate this freedom now that we have it, especially if lives are taken away. Especially if lives are taken away at the price some people want to make us pay for it. I love you. Okay, um, let's um, bring up our filmmakers now. <laughs> no, we're the guest curators. Guest curators, I'm sorry. So the filmmakers will come up at the end. Gentry McShane and Lauren Murphy. Lauren, it's actually really, they're at Lisa Ganser, who's not here, but uh, Lauren uh, came out of nowhere for us a few years ago. She sent a film, and I think we sort of fell in love with each other and their practice when I went to... The Big K Warehouse, it was a, a radical queer, probably underground illegal space in San Francisco. Uh, and I was there for, in town for Frameline, but went to this instead and was like, oh yeah, this is exactly right, this is perfect, this is what we're looking for. And Lauren was showing films and other things and that's where we met and started everything. <laughs> so Lauren's been to the festival a bunch of times. Welcome back. Gentry, Gentry also, welcome back. Used to live in New York. Um, but I want really, we want to give you the, you the stage. We're really proud to be showing Hanky Code with so many filmmakers that we've shown before and new filmmakers that we love. But we want, you know, it's your show, so you should take the mics. Yeah, thanks everybody for coming. This is an amazing turnout. Um, Hanky Code was a really awesome project. Uh, we started working on it um, about a year ago, um, last July. So July of 2014 is when we kind of incepted the idea, the three of us, me, um, Lauren, and Lisa, who can't be here tonight. Um, but yeah, so it what we wanted to do was uh, just get queer filmmakers across a spectrum of locations and um, gender identity and kind of play with this idea of the hanky code and use it as a basically a like um, platform for an anthology film. And um, it totally came together and it's a beautiful piece of work and I'm really excited to share it all with you tonight. And um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it was um, as soon as we got everybody's work um, in, I was just completely blown away with how different everything is. Uh, I was kind of expecting, you know, like some stuff to have like a similar flavor, but everything is really, really different and amazing. And I'm very pleased to have such talented friends. Um, and, uh... and, and yeah, so like, for me, like the hinky code, um, thinking about it as kind of this like mythological thing that's like rooted in like queer culture and like queer history and um, how much things have changed since that time, um, just with the way that people cruise now and um, how many, you know, different types of people identify as queer and identify all different ways and how the, the gay history has kind of played into the ways that we do things now, but it's also like up for interpretation. So one of the main things I wanted to do with this project was to kind of bring in a lot of different voices 
And some people even made up their own codes, which is really awesome. And um, yeah, so uh, also there's a couple trigger warnings. Um, there's blood and needles in it, and if you have any sensitivities to that, or if you're excited about it, it's gonna be in there. Um, <laughs> And also, um, there's some flashing lights and images, like right in the middle, um, during the pea-colored one, which is the 13th film. It's like it's right in the middle of the film. And so if you have any like light sensitivities or anything like that, um, it's a good time to leave. And it's also pea-colored, so you can go use the bathroom or something. Um, but yeah, cool. Let's start the film. Yay. Ooh.